Hello, everyone. I speak to you today as the youngest trustee of the Parliament of the World's Religions in its 130-year history. Thank you. And as the chair of the Parliament's Next Generation Task Force. And it has been an honor to be able to share this space with you for the past five days where we've been able to meet people from all across the world, from different faiths, cultures, traditions, spiritualities, but all of whom have one thing in common, and that is our love for one another, for humanity, and for our Mother Earth. 130 years ago, Swami Vivekananda had given his clarion call for peace and harmony calling for an end to bigotry and fanaticism, hoping that the inaugural gathering of the world's faith and thought leaders would bring forth a new social order, one that was just and equitable. And yet here we are, uh, more than 100 years later, where we have to realize that, unfortunately, we've not been able to fulfill his clarion call to action. And in some instances, we might have even regressed even further than we were 100 years ago. We are living in tumultuous times, one where we see issues of complexities and a magnitude that we've never witnessed before that have the potential to derail the progress of human civilization and push us towards Armageddon. Overconsumption and environmental degradation are making our Mother Earth an increasingly broken and unlivable planet. And the irony is that these issues are caused by us, whether that's the triple planetary crisis of climate change, pollution, and biodiversity loss, or systemic inequities that discriminate against people of color, the LGBTQIA community, women and girls, indigenous peoples, or the multiple war zones, be it in Ukraine or Syria or the Horn of Africa, or the rise, the ugly, ugly rise in radicalism and fascism, or just the world going backwards instead of forwards to a place where it might be a place of no return. But given that all of these issues are human-made, there is still hope that we can rely on human ingenuity and find an elixir to combat these issues, drawing on compassion, love, empathy, all of these values that form the foundation stones of our faiths and traditions. So as we move forward from this parliament, I would like to urge all of you to reflect on the learnings from this parliament, from the theme of this parliament, and just understand that no matter what our faith or tradition or lack thereof, we are, after all, human. And it is that humanity that we need to harness to build forward better. It is time for us to introspect what is the legacy that you want to leave behind for your children and their children. Would you not see a problem and take action beyond what a corporate guideline mandates. We are living in these tumultuous times because of our apathy, and we need to do away with that apathy because failure to act is quite literally our extinction. It is the cost of our survival. But there is still hope if we come together to join hands, to love, to empathize, and together we can create a world where no one is left behind, and everyone, that includes us as human beings, and all life on earth, everyone has a life of dignity. Thank you.